Hi friends, welcome to Tamil Bumi Technologies. Today we will see one more interesting tutorial from Big Data. And uh, there are many important things in Big Data which is visualization. You have data in Hive, you have data in different uh, like environment like uh, Impala, you have data in different places stored in HDFS. But the data will look like this. I am just uh, doing select star from, from one of the Hive table. It is showing me the data, but what does the client will understand by looking at the data? Like what is the use of it? So main use when it comes to processing the data is if you are able to make some decision out of it, if you are able to make some understanding out of the data, that's where the uh, like data is becoming useful and it becomes information, right? So that is the main part. And in that part, the visualization is a main last area where the client will see. Client will not see how you bring the data. Client will not see what are the issues you face. All they want is a result. Like that's why it will be going into the like senior management and they'll be looking at the data, how the sales is performing and what is the previous month sales versus this month sales or one area versus another area or which product is selling more. Those kind of details are very important. And when and that is the client itself don't know which uh, data to look at. So the entire data should be present in front of the client so that he can drag and drop and do the drilling in the data to find out what is needed. And they might come, uh, they might uh, like uh, discover new things about their company, about the sales and all. So that's a very important thing about the visualization and how we are doing the visualization in big data part. That is a very important question. So basic thing is we used to connect to a hive tables using multiple tools and we'll bring the data and we'll bring the visualization part in that so there are a lot of visualization a uh, lot of visualization tools are available like one uh, let's say power bi tableau clickview microstrategy and d3.js and python django and then high charts etc etc there are major uh, distribution sorry major visualization tools which use which through which we can connect to big data and show the uh, visualization. Today in our tutorial, what we are going to see is we'll just see how to install Power BI in your machine and just to connect to big data. So as this uh, diagram suggests, and you have a Hadoop cluster, you everything is installed over there and you have a Hive table. So we'll use your laptop as a client. From there, we'll make a ODBC connection to the Hive tables and we'll extract the data and we'll show the power of visualization. That's what this video is about and the Hadoop cluster, I have installed it in my own laptop. Like this is a VM. Okay, here inside, I have a single node Hadoop cluster installed, which is a Cloudera distributed. And it can be anything, it doesn't have to be Cloudera. You can have anything, just you need to have Hive installed, that's it. And if you haven't installed, I have a video for you. You can just go and watch this video where I've told you how to install Cloudera VM in your machine. And this document will be your guide to install this. All the links which I'm going to, which I'm going to use in this video, Will be put here this is there in the description you can see it over there fine so first you have to install the virtual machine and start the hive and uh, have some tables inside so that you'll be able to look uh, like see the data in power bi okay next thing what you need to do is you need to install power bi in your machine for that you have to go to microsoft website here like i did a just i did a search <coughs> power bi installation download and then second link i clicked Okay, here you can choose which you are, how you want to install, whether it's a 32 bit, your machine is 32 bit or 64 bit, with that you can install Power BI and that is an easy step only. Once you install, uh, that you can keep it there. After that, what you have to install is you have to download and install ODBC driver. This ODBC driver is, ODBC driver is provided by Cloudera. Cloudera ODBC Hive <coughs> driver, okay. We need to install this in order to connect to Hive because we are using Cloudera VM. So we'll be downloading this and select OS. You are going to connect from Windows. So I'm selecting Windows. Windows you have version, whether it's a 32 bit or 64 bit. I am using 64 bit, that's why I choose 64 bit and downloaded and install. It is also pretty straightforward installation. Just click next, next and it go, it's going to install it for you. So once you installed, after that one main thing you have to do is, you want to install ODBC driver in your machine and then try to connect, create a ODBC connection in your PC. So for that, what you have to do is you have to create ODBC and then click 64 bit or 32 bit. I am using 64 bit machine. That is why I'm using this. And how do you know whether your machine is 64 bit or 32 bit? For that, you have to do is always you can do is go to the right click and then properties. There you will be able to see it's a 64 or 32 bit. It's 64 bit, right? Here you can see. 
so that's the way you, uh, you can choose which one you are using and i've already connected but i'm going to remove it and add it for you so i'll delete it and then i'm going to add it and cloud raw we installed it right that's why it is showing here so and click finish and here you have to say data source name hive cloud raw and the description you can leave it hive server 2 yeah that's fine and host here you need to give the ip address of your server and i'm using it this one so that's why i'm going to give this ip address 192.168.192.168.1 192 this is my ip address of this vm inside vm i have to place this running that's why i'm giving it if you are running in client machine or if your server is in somewhere in the cloud or if uh, your uh, client is having somewhere in hadoop real hadoop cluster you can use that ip address just to connect and the port is 10000 that is fine and the database which you are going to connect i am going to connect to default hive database that's why i am giving is default but you can change that as well and mechanism is very important you have to change it to username and password change it and then give username and password here my username and password is cloudera that is how do bms like uh, cloudera's default username and password is that and then just go down and see the test there is a test is there i am going to test the connection first so test is successful and then i'm going to click okay yeah that's now our connection is created we are ready to connect to power bi i'm just opening the power bi i already opened it so i'm going to create new it's going to bring this here <coughs> don't say so power bi is opening let it open meanwhile i'll just uh, give you one i just want to tell you one thing like usually hadoop developers will not be creating the dashboards or the visualization part if it is a small company that time you might have to work on it but mostly you will be bringing the data till hive layer and that's what usually hadoop uh, and spark developers those people do after that ui part there will be ui developers will be there they would be taking care of this part so but just it's good to know these things but if you are facing interviews or something you can tell like this so that that's very easy point and i'm clicking get data and uh, i'm just going to do odbc odbc has came and i'm going to click connect here database excel file hive cloud raw is coming here and we can just click okay it's like odbc connection everybody is studying from the school i guess like uh, we have been using this for a long time right vb and all we used to connect odbc right i hope you remember it and hive just extracted yeah i think we have connected to cloud raj and then click default <coughs> there i have one table sales transaction i have loaded on 5 lakh transaction here for the demo purpose and yeah here it's just the sales data and do load it you can get this data also online it is very like simple easy data just search for csv sales details you will get it or i'll try to put the link in the below description if possible and all the file access rows is going to load into this memory of this one and after that we'll do analytics on top of it yeah it's loaded so it's loaded and you can select anything you want here in this chart i just want some pie chart i like pizza so pizza kind of chart let's do it and <coughs> let's do it legend is country total profit let's do it values total profit so this way we can understand where it is giving how much profit is we are getting so everything is count by here it is being count total count it is doing we may need to change it to sum of values because profit nobody is going to count it so percentage let's do it for percentage now you can see 0.53% india it is sold and for ghana it is sold 0.56 and it changes where is highest one it's all distributed manner it is there fine <clears throat> let's have one more chat sorry i just changed that so we just need to click outside and then add one more chat here i can just add item type or country country i can add it in access and uh, ship date total cost total cost i can let's change it total cost will be column series total profit column values <coughs> and total revenue line values so 
<coughs> you can see the data is changing. If I click something here, this chart also will change. If I click one thing, this chart also will change. So that is the kind of thing. Entire thing you can go and drill down where it is happened and you can bring in the order date and see which date it has been changed and also you can write R program, Python program, everything is possible with Power BI. This is one of the sample tool and uh, here also I made one more chart. Yes, here. So you can change it. It changes actually with all data. This data looks different and with that if you click one area, you can specify and you can go drill down, keep on doing this until you get a final result. So that is a very important part of visualization. You will get to know the entire picture. Like if I change something here, what happens to my sales? So sometimes it will show you what is the real sales is all about and what how much sales you made, those things, etc. Because such numbers can easily manipulate us, right? So that's the main thing. With this, we can easily understand and do more things out of sort. So that is a basic thing, how to do a basic visualization in your big data. And this is one of the things many projects, they were doing it. And uh, you can connect to Hive table and main, you can like, if you want more analytics and more type of thing, you can connect to HBase also. HBase also provide visualization. You can connect it direct to HBase, connect direct to HDFS. There are a lot of options available and a lot of uh, tools also available. Power BI is one of the good tool which is much uh, being used by many companies and Tableau click view also as well as that's also mostly used. So it's just a good to have an idea how these things works even though if we are not we might not able we might not be working in the project for this area but it is good to have this understanding and try it in your laptop so that you feel confident and you know why we are using it why we are using why big data has so much more and all and if you are doing some startup or small business Without doing that visualization, you will not get a project because without giving the value, this is where the part where it gives a full value to the client and customers. So that's it for the in this video. I hope you like the video. I'll put all the all these uh, links and everything in the description below. You can go and check it out. And if you like our uh, video, just give a thumbs up. And if you have any doubts or if you want me to put any different tutorials next time in Big Data, or Spark, or HBase, or Kafka just drop a note in the comment below and you can reach my whatsapp if you have any doubts and all and that's it this is arumogam signing off bye bye take care see you in the next video bye bye